What's happening guys? Welcome to another video and this week we're heading up the river. Not really too sure where we're going. Well we're heading up Bow Hill Way but I've got no idea where we're going to camp tonight. So we're heading up Bow Hill Way because I've heard they've been catching a few callop up that way. So we're going to have a, a bit of a crack at doing some proper fishing. But before then we're going to head along the Young Husband Road. So that means we'll go via Manham and we'll be on the eastern side of the river so we don't actually go through Manham, we're on the other side of the river and then we'll turn off onto the Young Husband Road and uh, just check along there. From memory I think there might have been a couple of spots there where you, there's enough room for a car and a caravan but I'm not too sure. If I find a good spot we might camp there and that'll be up against the backwaters. You've got the river, then you've got the backwaters and then you've got the road which is a bit of a touristy road towards Bow Hill so Young Husband is about halfway between Manham and Bow Hill but I'm thinking we're probably going to end up at Bow Hill the trouble with Bow Hill at the moment is well, they've changed it you can't camp by the boat ramp or by the river anymore they've got a little caravan park place made up by the toilet block so we'll see how we go we might camp there it's not going to be right on the water but uh, that doesn't matter it's not far to walk down to the river and the other problem is I'm thinking there might be a few other caravans there so if there is we'll probably head a bit further away or upstream to Pernong and we should be able to find a spot there because I don't want to camp right next to other people because I can probably be pretty annoying so uh, that's the plan the weather's been pretty hot yesterday it was up to about 40 degrees Celsius and today it's in the 30s but real thundery and stormy so I'm expecting them to get a bit of rain later on but I'm hoping with that hot weather the yabbies might be coming out so I've got the yabby pots so we'll try and chuck them in somewhere and uh, see how we go and try and catch some fish see if we can uh, catch a callop or two so try and get a little bit more serious with my fishing this time but uh, that's the plan so anyway we better turn the camera around show you guys what I'm looking at and you know what that means it's time to start the music Okay guys, here we come into Bow Hill. We'll just turn right down here towards the shop. You go down the bottom, you turn left, you head along the road at the back of the shacks. Now, just want to see how many caravans, if any, across to the right by the toilet block. If there's none there, I think that's where I might camp for the night. And it looks good no one's there so uh, just go for a bit of a drive up here a bit of rain coming in so anyway I'm gonna have a bit of a think about it and work out what I'm gonna do So not too sure what to do. Got this little caravan park up here by the toilet block straight ahead. It's still only 10.30 in the morning. So I'm thinking we might go for a drive up to Pernong, which is only 15 minutes away. We haven't done a ferry crossing for a while and given the uh, ferry operator a score. But back in there is where you can park your vans so we might come back but 
there's a couple other spots I like at Pernong too so we'll go and check Pernong out so just coming into Pernong that's the old post office to the left there we did a bit of filming there when the floods were on water was right up to the base of that house and we're just going to catch the ferry in time so we'll, we'll go across there is camping this side of the river just to the left of the ferry and a toilet block up to the right just a little one so we could camp in there but we're going to see if my favourite spot come on mate you saw me coming well, we're going to give him extra bonus points he's going to reopen the gate for us so if you're new to the channel we usually do a bit of a score on the ferry drivers to see how they're going out of 10 and we also talk about the ferries which are all named after a bird and this one is stilt 2 camera a bit crooked there so stilt 2 so it's named after a stilt and I'm pretty professional with the bird names and uh, the history of the bird so the stilt is a close relation to the budgerigar the bald eagle and also the tomtit I hope that helps out my little spot up to the right looks like it's free there's no one here it's a 30 degree day So we always score the ferry driver on how smooth a takeoff he's got. And also his landing. And mainly on his wave. He had a good wave at the start. Nice smile. Hope we got that on the film. But I can't believe there's no other campers here. So just coming in for the landing coming in pretty smooth so far you got an arm on the left and an arm on the right which gets up there and grabs hold, hold of those little poles sometimes they just get it straight in other times they've got to drop them or lift them he's going straight in straight in for the grab did not have to raise them or do anything that was one of the best landings I've seen More importantly, we've got this campsite to ourselves, guys. Oh, he's got a good smile. He's doing the five finger wave and a thumbs up. Oh, thumbs up. Unbelievable. 9.9, .9, one of the highest scores I've done for the ferry drivers. That's my review. So all camping sites out there to the right, but there's a little track which leads down. And I know we've camped here before, but uh, looks like we're going to do it again. Nice little spot. We can get the caravan nice and close to the river overgrown a little bit it used to be just nice lawn all the way along here so we're going to reverse back and i think the spot just back behind us is going to be it so this is the spot one of my favorite spots i know we've been here before but how beautiful is that it's about 30 degrees it's still pretty warm We've had a bit of rain so I'm hoping that stays away the only thing is I always come away and I forget stuff and I didn't bring a bloody chair like my chair is the favorite thing I need because I need to sit down but in the distance with those shacks that no one's in I reckon I can see some old chairs leaning up against the shack so I might just go for a quiet walk along there and see what's happening and bring a chair back for the night and obviously return it 
but great spot here. This side is uh, Cornermont. Got a nice houseboat coming down the river. We'll catch that in a minute. But uh, we'll set up, put the awning out, mainly to stop any rain today. This is one of the unforgettable houseboats, hire boats from Manham. The ferry operator's just put his green lights on. So you're going to wait for him to go through. Just set up a couple of yabby pots. So I've done other videos on how I do it, but basically that's just a stocking, lady's stocking cut up and put a knot one end and then fill it up with a bit of dog food and this is a bit runnier than I usually get so it might just it might just be the heat but uh, I'm not going to bother about the backwaters we'll put one down there by that big old log and then back behind me we'll put the other one so we've got a beehive here somewhere a heap of bees just down there Right, how am I going to do this? Left my head cam home as well. I don't know. Right, we'll drop that out. Uh, it's gone down a bit. That'll do. one try a bit further out ah, that was bloody worse I'm hopeless at this shit aren't I alright got no idea guys not climbing down that hill see if we can get it a little bit further out here on the log <laughs> it'll be right if I can get in that gap over there that'll do they'll crawl up there if they're hungry enough okay we just had a bite So been about 35 minutes or so this is going to tell us if there's any yabbies around or not i think it's a bit early water probably needs to warm up a bit so if they're going to run at all probably up around christmas time or so but we'll see how we go here these ones you got to pull them up quick to stop them and absolutely nothing in there Another houseboat just come across the ferry. So we've been getting a bit of rain so I'm thinking I may not put the kayak in. Sorry to disappoint you all. So more rain clouds coming by the looks of it plenty of houseboats going through today most of these would have started at Manham or Kia Marina okay guys looks like we got a bite we could have uh, something here for tea let's go and check it out
Check that out. We got some caught some fish fillets. You don't usually see them this far down the stream. They should cook up good. And what have we got on the bottom? Bottom. A couple of potatoes. How bloody lucky is that? We're gonna have fish and chips tonight for tea. Righto guys, cook up time, no fire tonight, it's still warm but it's been raining outside and it's starting to come up a bit windy but I think we're just out of the wind here so we're going to uh, cook these chips first and then this is that fantastic fish I caught and I've filleted it, fill, filleted it and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good so we'll get that on with a bit of lemon pepper seasoning and uh, have some chips with it should be pretty good bit of a look out here just a light drizzle of rain winds changed around back to a southerly cooled down a little bit still a beautiful night though so i got the generator going in the background tried to turn this down so I don't cook them too quick so I'll probably cut them a little bit thick so I like them burn anyway so we'll let them go for another 10 or 15 minutes before we put the fish on the fish won't take too long we'll cook that in the rest of the garlic butter with some lemon pepper seasoning okay we're getting there with a bit of uh, garlic butter didn't have any normal butter so the garlic probably will burn a little bit but we'll get plenty in there might have it a bit hot got our beautiful fish I caught amazing how just happened to catch those this far down the Murray we'll chuck this in there love the sizzle Just watch that temperature a bit. Might have to lift it off every now and again. Pretty good filleting job I did on those too. Gave it a quick flip over. Hadn't broken away yet, so it's still looking good. There you go, guys, all plated up. My special filleted fish cooked in garlic butter with lemon pepper seasoning and some cut up potatoes so my version of fish and chips looks pretty bloody good to me back for a review in a minute so still got a bit of drizzle coming down and for the food review bloody beautiful that fish cooked in butter or garlic butter lemon pepper seasoning then pour a bit of the butter over it once it's cooked and the chips I'm going to give it an 8.4 that's my review good morning everyone well this consistent drizzle that was supposed to stop last night hasn't so I'm about to get a little bit wet while I finish packing up. Got the ferry over there going across the river. Pelican's out trying to get a feed. But a great little spot here at Cornermont, which is this side and Pern on the other side of the river. And if you're new to the channel and haven't been to this spot, they've got a nice little toilet block down there actually got a toilet block both sides of the river so you can camp both sides of the river 
So yeah, one of my favourite little spots close to home. Only takes me about just under an hour to get here. Anyway, that's going to do this one, guys. And we'll catch up with you again soon. I'm about to go and get soaked. Catch you later.